Hello. Hello, everybody. It's been a while, I know, but I'm still here, still kicking. So what you're looking at is the analysis and assessment of the gateway process. This is interesting. June 9th, 1983. So the gateway process is a secret, well, it was a secret then, but now, of course, it's out. What it is, is about astro projection. It's the CIA and the government's assessment on astro projection and using your chakras and kundalini energy. And it talks about how to do it. Also, the tapes that go with it, it helps you get into a state uh, like lucid dreaming, dream walking, same thing. Okay, so we're going to go through this a little bit. And so I can show you some things on this. It's interesting. I know that this has probably been covered a lot, but basically the guy talks about the synchroniz synchronization technique employed by gateway it's the nature and functioning of human consciousness he talks about how he had to go through it i begin the narrative by briefly profiling the fundamental biomedical factors affecting such related techniques as hypnosis biofeedback and transcendental meditation see with meditation they say that it takes years for the Kundalini to come through. But that's not true. That is not true. He says, Niles Bohr, the renowned physicist, once responded to his son's complaints about the obtuse nature of certain concepts in physics by saying, you are not thinking. You are merely being logical. The physics of altered human consciousness deals with some conceptualizations that are not easily grasped or visualized exclusively in the context of ordinary left brain linear thinking. Parts of this paper will require not only logic, but a touch of right brain intuitive insight to achieve a complete comfortable grasp of the concepts involved. He talks about going through this and he did the whole thing with someone they trained to go out of body. The government trained to go out of body. That is crazy to me. Crazy. So. It's not really crazy, is it? It's not that crazy that we can leave our body and that the government has known about it for years, for years. So when I went through my awakening, I was shocked. I was shocked when I did research and found out that this was a real thing and that the government or the CIA knows all about it. Sorry, I look so shabby today. <laughs> I got a little bit upset yesterday. My dog attacked a cat and I will not have that. My dog moved into a cat house. So that's how it is. But anyways, the thing with the meditation, when you meditate, and you visualize your chakras like you visualize green right here in your heart. And you visualize blue right here in your throat. You start opening up this area right here. So if you imagine. Just put your energy towards this spot right here. And imagine gold. Imagine gold. Spinning. you start to open up your third eye. I did it with a um, crystal. 
the amethyst crystal. You can put the amethyst crystal right here and you will feel a pulsating from your third eye. So in the Bible, it even talks about the third eye. It talks about the, the third eye and it says that unless your eye be single, you don't have sight. He's talking about the third eye. That's not exactly how it's worded, but it's in Matthew, the book of Matthew. So anyways, I wanted to check this out some more with you guys. According to theories of physiologist Ronald Stone and the biomedical engineering models of Istek Bonovich, hypnosis is basically a technique which permits acquisition, acquisition of direct access to the sensory motor cortex and pleasure centers and lower cerebral emotional portions associated with pleasure centers of the right side of the human brain following successful disengagement of the stimulus screening function of the left hemisphere of the brain. The left hemisphere of the brain is the self-cognitive, verbal, and linear reasoning component of the mind. So the left is reasoning, and the right hemisphere, which functions as the non-critical, holistic, non-verbal, and pattern-oriented component of the brain. That makes sense to me. How when you're meditating, visualization is important to connect your right brain to your left brain. When you meditate, you open up both areas of your working in both sides of your brain. Meditation doesn't only increase your health. It improves your health, but it improves your memory. It improves everything in your life. Okay. It even helps make you feel younger. It gives you a direct connection to source and you end up being able to know things that you didn't have knowledge of before. So it fulfills the function of screening incoming stimuli by categorizing, assessing, and assigning meaning prior to allowing passage to the right hemisphere of the mind. Here's their little drawings. Did you know meditation, when you bring the fluid up your spine and you it flushes, it like touches your pineal gland. Woo, it tickles it up. I'm doing it right now. And it tickles those little hair follicles on your pineal gland. And it puts you in a bliss state. It really does. And it helps you to know exactly what's going on. You, you could leave and be going somewhere and ask yourself, ask your guide, ask your soul, should I be doing this? And you'll feel the right answer in your gut. Like you'll feel it. The states of bliss described by those whose Kundalini symptoms have completed the full loop along the hemispheres may be explained as self stimulization of the pleasure cortex the thing is guys so if you're trying to manifest something in the material world right you focus on the red chakra you spin the red chakra you focus on what you want to succeed right and you send that energy out through that chakra to it and then you pull it back. It's just like pushing a door. You push the energy. And pulling the door, you pull the energy. I love doing this. See, it says benefit also notes that the most of the described symptoms start on the left side of the body. It does. You will feel a tingle in feelings while you're raising your own energy so the third consciousness altering methodology will be briefly described as biofeedback there are tapes we will go look at the tapes in just a second gateway and hemisync 
It says, now that I have briefly profiled the basic mechanics of the principal techniques for altering and expanding consciousness, which share some of the objectives or methods employed in the gateway experience, we may proceed to focus on what that technique actually involves. It says, fundamentally, the gateway experience is a training system designed to bring enhanced strength, focus, and coherence to the amplitude and frequency of brain wave output between the left and right brain hemisphere, so as to alter consciousness, moving it outside the physical sphere, so as to ultimately escape even the restrictions of time and space. The participant then gains access to the various levels of intuitive knowledge which the universe offers. What differentiates the gateway experience from forms of meditation is its use of the hemi-sync technique, which is defined in the monograph by the Monroe Institute trainer, Melissa Jager. A state of consciousness defined when the EEG patterns of both hemispheres are simultaneously equal in amplitude and frequency. So when you link both sides together through this process, it puts you in a state of all knowing. It's, it's hard to explain. We need to go through the process together is what we need to do. Frequency, following response. To achieve synchronization of brain hemispheres, the hemi-sync hemi technique takes advantage of a phenomenon known as frequency, following response, which means that if a subject hears a sound produced at a frequency which emulates one of those associated with the operation of the human brain, the brain will try to mimic the same frequency patterns by adjusting its brain wave output. This is, it's so interesting. All you gotta do guys, see analysis and assessment of the gateway process right here. Look that up and it is 29 pages and you guys can find it there. Brain stimulation, let's see. Oh, this talks about as the coherent resonates or resonance produced by the brain, it sets up a rhythmic pattern in which the brain moves up and down approximately 0 0.5, 0 0.10 milliliters in a continuous pattern. The self-reinforcing character of resonant behavior accounts for the body's ability to the entire body based on its own micro motion functions as it's tuned vibrationally system, which transfers energy in a range between 6.8 and 7.5 Hertz into the earth's ionic cavity. So we resonate with the earth's energy. We resonate with it. If we can get into that state of mind, you can manifest anything. And you can do it through chakra meditation. It talks about this is an, occurring at a, a very long wavelength of about 40,000 km or a km kilometers or just about the perimeter of the planet. In other words, the signal from the movement of our bodies will travel around the world in about one seventh of a second. Wow. Such a long wavelength knows no obstacles and its strength does not attune much over. See, that is how powerful we are. We were never told how powerful we were. We were put here to be duped. I know I say that a lot, that we were tricked, but we were. Um
Yeah. We were duped. I want to show you guys something else before I get off of here. Okay, so now I want to show you where you can find the gateway tapes and you all can practice this yourself. You can do it yourself. Um, if anybody ever has any questions about doing it, ask me. I'm still learning. This is a process that you're always going to be learning on. Okay, it's a forever thing. It even talks about in the paper that some people don't reach Kundalini until 20 years, but you have to meditate every day. And I reached Kundalini kind of accidentally, but I'm glad I did it. And now I'm able to move that energy. I just have to learn how to push it and pull it towards the things I need in my life. And as I do that, I can teach you, I can show you. So I just wanted you guys to know how to do this. So I'm going to show you the tapes. So it's on YouTube. It's the Gateway Tapes. And let's play a little bit of it. This is the first step along your path to a gateway. A gateway beyond which is discovery. Your own discovery of reality, of truth, of who and what you are. Now a simple preparation. Because of the special audio techniques used, it's important that certain sounds reach your right ear and others your left ear. To be sure of this, you should be hearing my voice in your right ear at this moment. If you are not hearing my voice in your right ear, turn your headphones around now so that you are hearing my voice in your right ear. All right, guys. That's it for today. I'm going to go ahead and end this recording. I'm going to try to schedule a live. We're having some good weather. But that's what the problem has been. It's been rainy and <sighs> internet is crappy. You guys know my internet situation. So I will see you in the next one. And remember to be the reason someone believes in good people.